Welcome back to another COVID edition of Walk and Talks with Judy and Michelle. And today we're really excited to have Joe Kostler with us. I think you met him before. He runs our um, Insights and Innovations team and um, is an expert in digital discovery. Joe, thank you so much for joining us. We're happy to have you. Glad to be here and excited. So one of the reasons that we want you to come is we've been having a lot of conversations lately with clients about how they manage through this change and in particular how they stay in touch with what their employees are going through and what their employees need. Can you talk a little bit about what you've seen and what you've been doing with clients? Yeah, so uh, when this whole situation started several months ago, um, one of the things that we at Aspirant did was asked ourselves how we could help our how we could help clients and their employees through this this transition and so we reached out with an assessment in which we tried to uncover those those challenges and ways that folks were finding um, to work better in given the current scenario and through that some of the biggest challenges involve things like work-life balance um, staying connected in the communication channels both uh, top down and, and bottom up and so as we started to kind of uncover that and understand that more, then we, we changed the conversation that we were having with our clients to, to ways that they can start to um, understand that, that transformation, maybe shift the way that they were doing things when it comes to communicating and, and getting feedback, uh, as well as um, you know, how to better manage their employees' time and, and help them, put them in a position to better manage their own time. That's amazing. You talked to a lot of people and got some really great insights. So what would you say the biggest challenge companies are facing and what they can think about to address that? Um, I would say it's staying connected. So uh, again, you know, this disrupted a lot of the uh, communication channels that get built up over time working together in an office situation. Now that that's been uplifted, uh, you have folks trying to reconnect with people that they're used to talking to on a day-to-day -day basis. Folks that were uh, conduits for information for, throughout the organization that no longer are feeding them that information. So how do you get that and how do you kind of keep that information flowing and, and keep the organization operating? And one of the ways that we found is, is you know, really enacting uh, something akin to like a listening strategy. Uh, helping folks kind of keep a, a pulse on the day-to-day -day activities through you know continuous check-ins and that can take many different forms uh, assessments over the course of time one-on-one -on -one check-ins with management but really just facilitating communication uh, both down through the organization and up back uh, to management so I have to ask you, if there was like one or two things that you would suggest that leaders in a company could do pretty quickly to try to, to get their hand on the pulse of, of what's happening with employees, is there, is, is there something that you'd recommend? Uh, yeah, so it would be, one thing could be just ensuring that you're having those one-on-one -on -one discussions. They can be one-offs, they can be scheduled, um, just keep in touch with your employee base. Um, another one, and this is kind of sort of an offshoot of that and maybe related to time management, is uh, think about meetings and, and, the, and what goes on within meetings. Ensure that the right people are in the room. Um, and if they're not, you know, almost challenge your participation in meetings so that you have the right people in the room and set up structures so that leading up to meetings, you have the right information coming in as well as the right information coming out. And, and that then goes out to uh, any stakeholders that need to know or be involved in, in um, the decisions. Thanks so much, Joe. It's always a pleasure to have you uh, share your wealth of knowledge with us. And we hope you will walk and talk or sit and talk with us again <laughs> soon. Thank you.